Proper manure spreader calibration is an essential component of any on-farm nutrient management plan. A properly calibrated spreader ensures the applicator is spreading the desired amount of manure on the fields. This can have the added benefit of increasing crop yields as well as reducing fertilizer input and costs. A reduction in fertilizer use may also produce less environmental pollution. Whenever resources such as manure are disposed of as waste, there is an effect on the environment. Spreading manure can help to achieve the optimum use of the manure nutrients. To use manure nutrients properly, we need to know how much manure we are spreading. Overspreading can result in dangers to the environment, while underspreading will result in the inadequate application of nutrients. To get the most value from manure spread, it is essential to know the rate or the weight of manure spread per a given area. Do you know the rate? This video will help you to determine the spreader rate. However, you also have to know the spreader pattern. Here the manure spreader looks like it is involved in a new Olympic event, recreational spreading. On this farm, even a perfect estimate of weight and nutrients would be useless because the operator treats his job as a game. It's also important to know the amount of nutrients present in manure, and there are several ways this can be determined. It can be done using a manure test. The sample can be sent to a commercial laboratory to be analyzed. But if you're unable to take a manure test, you may use published values, available through your local extension office. A few different types of manure spreaders can be used. Solid manure spreaders, or larger spreaders such as this truck spreading poultry manure. On dairy and hog farms, it is more likely that liquid manure will be spread often by a liquid manure tank. Smaller farms may use ground-driven spreaders such as this Mill Creek spreader. The technique we'll demonstrate will work for solid manure on small to mid-sized farms, and it can be adapted for use with liquid manure as well. Another option for determining the weight of manure is the farm scale. This is impractical for smaller farms since access to scales such as this is rare. Yeah. For our purposes, we'll utilize the tarp method. The tarp method requires the following tools. Three plastic tarps or plastic sheets, a scale, a bucket, nails, stakes, or rocks to hold down the tarps, a measuring tape, and a broom. The tarp method is best adapted for solid manure, although it can be adapted for liquid manure as well. Measure the tarps to determine square footage of each tarp. It's best to cut tarps in easy measurements for later calculations, such as 6 feet by 6 feet or 8 feet by 8 feet. Cut three tarps to the same dimensions in order to average values from three separate tarps. Weigh each individual tarp and bucket prior to laying them out. This allows you to easily subtract the tarp and bucket weight from the total, leaving you the weight of the manure itself. Since you already know the square footage, you can easily calculate the weight spread per unit area. Lay each tarp out in a line parallel to the direction you will be spreading. This diagram shows how the tarps can be laid out for the tractor to drive over them. Drive your loaded spreader over the tarps, aligning the center of the tractor with the center of the middle tarp. Be sure to operate at the gear and speed that you will be using while spreading manure on the field. Carefully weigh each tarp separately after spreading. This can be done by sweeping up the tarp's contents separately and weighing in a bucket, or by folding each tarp and weighing the tarp and manure together. Subtract the weight of the tarp and the bucket, or the bucket, to determine the weight of manure collected on each sheet. Let's try an example. A farmer drives his spreader across three tarps as described. Next, he determines the total square feet of the tarps. Eight feet long by eight feet wide equals 64 square feet per tarp. After spreading manure, tarp A weighs nine pounds, tarp B weighs 13 pounds, and tarp C weighs 14 pounds. Once we know the weight of manure and the square footage on each tarp, we calculate the pounds per square foot by dividing the weight of manure on the tarp by the tarp's square footage. Tarp A has 0.14 pounds per square feet, tarp B has 0.2 pounds per square feet, and tarp C has 0.22 pounds per square feet. Average the weight per square feet of the three tarps. The average weight is 0.19 pounds of manure spread per square feet of tarp. It's important to average several tarp weights together. This helps reduce any variability in the process. You can use three tarps as shown, or just one tarp. With one tarp, you would need to spread, collect, weigh, and clean the tarp between applications. Once you know the average amount of manure that the spreader is applying, calculate the manure application rate. The number 22 is a constant relating acres to tons. 
There are 43,560 square feet per acre and 2,000 pounds per ton. Multiplying 0.19 pounds of manure per square foot times 22 will give our application rate in tons per acre. In this example, the rate is 4.2 tons per acre. After calibrating the manure spreader, there are other things we can do to ensure the ideal use of nutrients in manure. After spreading, manure should be incorporated into the ground using a disc harrow or other tillage equipment. This ensures that manure will not run off during rainfall. This also ensures nutrients are placed closer to plants' roots. To achieve the best yields on farms, farmers should know how much manure is being applied and the nutrient content of what is applied. As the seasons change, so will manure characteristics. It will be helpful to calibrate the spreader periodically to ensure optimum nutrient distribution. Calibrating manure spreaders to meet plant uptake needs can result in increased crop yields, reduced fertilizer requirements and costs, and a reduction of environmental pollution.